Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Jalissa. As you guys can see, my hair is straight today and I'm actually gonna curl it with this new wand that I just got in the mail from T3 Micro. So thank you so much to T3 Micro for sending me this. They just sent me this in the mail to see if I wanted to try it out here on my channel, see if I like it or not. So this is kind of just like a gift that they gave me. So, I mean, thank you so much. This retails for about $250, which is crazy. So, thank you for sending me this. I can't wait to try it out and see what type of waves I can get with this, what type of curls I can get with this. So, let's open this up. I'm going to link this down below if you guys want to purchase it. I'll give you guys my honest opinion about this tool. And I'm also going to show you guys kind of how I would get my Victoria Secret waves now for the holidays. And kind of like a holiday hairstyle that is like so cute as <laughs> you guys can see there's three different sizes three different barrels so you can get different styles with each barrel so let's try this out i really like the color and the design it looks very elegant very cute i'm going to try every single barrel and i'm going to tell you guys which type of curl i prefer or which one i like better so this brings a little bag so you can put your hair tool in here so that's pretty nice it also brings a glove which i really need because i sometimes with curling wands i burn myself i burn my fingers because your fingers get really close to the barrel when you have to use when you're using a curling wand so the heat on this is from 260 degrees fahrenheit to 410 degrees fahrenheit so i'm going to take this small section and let's do this okay I'm going to leave it there for about 10 seconds. Okay, so 10 seconds. Let's release the curl and see what it looks like. So, Okay. Very nice. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Sometimes I feel a bit scared to use wands like this because I just feel like I'm going to burn myself. I feel like I'm going to burn my face, um, which is why I've been using other tools to curl my hair so the type of curls that i'm getting are nice you know they're kind of loose so if you like that type of curl you're gonna like this one but i want a tighter curl so i'm gonna use another barrel just to see what other waves i can get so let's try this one and see what type of look i can get so i'm gonna take this off it's very hot so i'm kind of scared but let's do this Ooh. yeah guys just be careful with wands like this because it's very easy to burn yourself so i will say this right here is a bit confusing like there's only one button so you kind of have to press it to be able to get to the level that you want so you definitely have to you know read the instructions and see how to kind of work with this but it's not like self-explanatory i just like it when hair tools have everything like labeled so that is just like so self-explanatory like high low medium 410 and then maybe like arrows that like, go back or go up down you know but when it's just one button it's a little bit like more confusing especially when there's like nothing written on the hair tool because you only see dots but you don't know what heat setting you're in unless you look at the instructions let's try this size so i'm just gonna wrap my hair around the barrel and I'm just gonna leave it there for about 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I know you guys say that I count too fast sometimes, so I'm gonna give it like three more seconds. Okay, I think that should be enough, so let me see what type of curl I get. So that is on the highest heat setting oh that is beautiful yeah this is definitely the one that i'm going to use because i prefer a curl like this as compared to something a little bit looser like this everybody's different so it's really up to you you choose what you want to do but i'm going to continue doing the other sections but yeah so far i really like this barrel and what i like about tighter curls like this Ooh, see, I just burned my ear a little bit. Ouch! Anyways, what I like about tighter curls like this one, like the ones that I'm getting with this barrel, is that you can kind of 
play around with it more you can make it a little bit looser with the brush you can do so much with a tighter curl as compared to a looser curl like once you have a loose curl you can't really make it tighter or make it look smaller if you know what i mean unless you maybe go over it again with another hair tool but um let's see what this section looks like that is cute i like the other one too i like the bigger barrel too i mean some days maybe i'll be in the mood to use the other one who knows but i just like how the tighter curl looks better what plans do you guys have for christmas what do you guys do like do you open your presents on christmas eve or do you open your presents like the morning of christmas day i'm like so curious let me know in the comments down below um i open my presents on christmas day like the morning of christmas day what do you guys do like what is a tradition with your family what do you guys do let me know in the comments down below <laughs> i really like how these curls look i'm gonna do this side too so now we're gonna try this barrel so this is kind of like your regular one inch barrel okay so let's see what type of curl i can get with this barrel i'm gonna leave it there for about 10 seconds okay i think that's enough time that was a little bit over 10 seconds so let's see what type of curl i get Ooh, very nice so that curl is like a little bit looser than the ones down here i think yeah this one looks a little bit tighter than this one you guys see but i really like that too they're almost the same though super cute i do feel like when i use um curling ones like this my arms get a little bit tired after a while that is so pretty what i like about this is that you can take pretty big sections and just leave your hair on the tool for just a little bit longer and it still curls your hair so i really like that you can take pretty big sections with this and you still get really really nice waves there's the other curl before and after okay so i am done with my hair as you can see the curls are super nice very healthy very shiny bouncy i really really like how this looks so what i'm gonna do next is that i'm actually going to run my fingers on this side and then on this side i'm gonna use a brush and let's see what type of look i can get so i'm gonna run my fingers to kind of loosen up the curl a little bit make it look more natural that's so pretty as you can see yeah i really really like that that looks so nice so on this side i'm going to use this brush from Callista. i love it to kind of like give my curls a little bit of a hollywood wave so i'm just going to brush my hair do you see that like that is gorgeous i love that look now for the holidays this is so pretty i really really like doing that to my hair like do you guys see that so i like this side because it's like more like natural waves and then this side is more like hollywood waves so i'm gonna just brush this side too just to make it all look the same so yeah this is a very good hairstyle for the holidays i think it's very elegant very classy i can totally picture myself doing this for christmas maybe with like a little dress or something you can twist the hair like that and use a clip to make it look even more elegant so that's just kind of like an idea that you can do 
for the holidays anyways I'm, i took off the clip because i just want something a little bit more casual for today so i'm just gonna leave my hair down i think my hair looks very pretty and i really like how it turns out i would definitely recommend this i think this leaves your hair super nice very shiny very healthy i really liked how it left my curls so i'm gonna link it down below if you guys want to purchase it i think it will be a very nice christmas gift i hope you guys like this video if you did make sure you give it a big thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on your post notifications so you can get notified every time i upload a video i hope you guys like this mini tutorial um and also first impressions of this tool anyways i'll see you guys in my next video